in investigations. Proof is always key. No compromise, no favors, no mistakes. Only one thing matters, telling the story as hot as it is and letting the chips fall where they may. At the end, there will be discoveries, hearts will be broken, pain will be felt, anger will rise, yet it will not change the truth. The truth always wins, saves and makes us relieved. For more investigative stories, documentaries and more, watch your investigative magazine program on the Kukwanen channel and enjoy the best in investigative stories on religion, politics, economics and more. The Kukwanen channel, only the truth matters. Kindly subscribe to the Kukwanen channel and press the subscribe button now for more exclusive stories. It's now or never. Yo, yes, you're quite trying to show us your child quite penny in wire. You're both quite but two you. Very much sitting in here. May shake with quanine. I will quit quanine TV. Quacku, may I doubt, Mitachi. What's up, world? It's your boy Nate Pro, and I'm watching quick quanine on quick quanine TV. Listen, there's a difference between fiction and reality. If you want the real, if you want the truth, and if you want the raw, well, you are the right place. Quick and TV is the place to be. It don't get better than this. Stay tuned. Feel it. Hello, folks. My name is Kweku Anan, and I'm a journalist. I have this piece I want to share with you, which is also my response to the self-style journalist called Anas Arame Anas after his article, you know, put across the social media describing his response to his critics indeed until before 15 to 20 years ago many Ghanaians across the social and political ladder were with much more strong conviction believe and hope in the delivery of his peace which could oftentimes zero down with much trepidation and trembling the fear and panic which could visibly seen registered at the faces of victims for the fear of being exposed to the social arena but after careful study and scrutiny the veil is lifted the anas evil extortionism and blackmail enterprise now exposed sometime last week my attention was drawn to an article in circulation purporting that Anas Aramio Anas has responded to critics and in his piece, he zeroed down on me in page seven of his article and denied, quote, a man in Conroe, which another claim was Anas, was being accused of land grabbing. On humanitarian grounds, we wish to reiterate that circulate, circulating videos of persons and targeting them as anas could put innocent persons at risk as they might get caught in and targeted in the case of mistaken identity on code folks let's pause here and ask some few fundamental questions one the said video has been in circulation for some period of time since 2019. Why didn't the Tiger Eye Group respond to that video all this time? But now, well, folks, the answer to this is what I can figure as cookies crumble. The enterprise indeed is folding up. Still at page seven. He continued, quote, no court has found him guilty of illegal land expropriation. Tiger Eye is fully aware that this particular allegation 
is being championed by one Kweku Anam, who was sacked from Netu TV for professional misconduct. Suffice to say, Kweku Anan was exposed by Tiger Eye demanding bribes to spew lies about Anas on code. Hmm. Indeed, folks, can someone help the Tiger Eye group for further and better particulars? The circumstances led to Kweku Anan exit from Netu TV? Question. Nevertheless, however, I can appreciate to a large extent the degree of desperation, frustration, stress, anxiety, and fall of isolation weighing on their collapsing enterprise. Moreover, the Hawk investigations is hereby posing these fundamental questions to Tiger I Team 1. Under what circumstance would Kweku Anan be demanding bribes? And for what? Two, what precipitated an action? And what is the action? So he was seen demanding bribes. Three, did Anas Aremi Anas claim he gave Kweku Anan bribe to stop exposing him about something? And what made it this? Four, did Anas Aremi Anas sometime felt Kweku Anan was about exposing his evil cash cow enterprise, which would have earlier broken the myth about his enterprise, obviously, than today? Folks, please ponder over this. The next fundamental question is about the common law, which says the giver and the taker both guilty before the law. So why Anas? had since not gone to the police to report this case, but rather chose the NMC, the Media Commission. In his statement of claim, and for the records, both of us were made to put out statement until we got to the crossroad for Anas Aramir Anas to strip off that useless, dirty, stinking bees from his face because it was part of my statement to NMC to ensure full disclosure and compliance from both parties. This became a challenge for the Tiger Eye Group, as their lawyer then, Mr. Kisie Jablin, subsequently wrote to the commission stating, Anas has a special privilege for non-disclosure of his identity. This, the Hawk investigation team, did not take kind to it as it became the caveat to determine whether or not the commission can further proceed to adjudicate the process. As the contention deepens, the chairman of NMC made an offer to me to allow me and Anas enter his private office within the NMC building for Anas to unveil. But that also could not work since the commission was already in camera it is obviously a miscarriage and a travesty of justice for the commission to take a stand rather than to go along with my earlier preposition if anas would not get rid of that stuff from his face we shall not give full cooperation to the commission and that became end of case for the records today folks the man who has been described as an institution together with his protégé are running away from their shadows in the same court of public opinion. After many years of driving Ghanaians through this dark evil enterprise, many Ghanaian renowned personalities have begun the exercise to lift their pens and lenses to assess the magnitude of aggrandizement of this self-style and trapper who operated on a high frequency and countenance on the weakness of the Ghanaian institutions, mind games, fear factor, psychological drive through the mass media took hostage of the political airspace with preoccupation using codes, the NAS principle on codes, as a cash cow money-making machinery. A flashback of some of these renowned persons who, who put up some questionable articles 
about this and Trapper. Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo, Professor Kojo Nyanka, Martin Alamisi Amidu, Sule Brima of Media, Media Foundation, to mention a few. Question remain, what is it that the above persons have seen, heard, or read? It is often said a journalist is as good as that of his last story. As I end my piece, the Hawk investigative team would want to open the docket of Anar Salamir Anas versus Chado, the genesis of the narrative. But before we do so, let's pause a while to reflect over the sensitivity of Anas Aramir Anas feel threatened that now he's been exposed by the Hawk investigative team and that his image is out there. We can have a burden share in his current state of panic and discrepancies of his image now and into the future, and we wish him well. This was the same feeling when he took on the image of the Hawk team. Again, he denied his image in the video circulating purporting his deep involvement in Chadolan disputes. And folks, I want to show you this video, which he has come or has earlier come out to deny. Watch this video when Anas Aramio Anas was caught at the location called the Chadu, trying to box move navigate his way to possess somebody's land illegally watch this video and look at the face of this individual and this individual carefully take a look at this he said it's an asarim yao so record i and him we are Chado here. Yeah, Chado Somebody has a registered tattoo. Yeah, he said it's an yeah. 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 He's coming to claim. Look at me, this man. You said you are not Sarim Yao. Today I got you. Today I got Anas. This is Anas. Great. Can he deny again? Can he deny his image with Ahmed Swali and Sheikh Altani now in preparation to cause evil to people? Now, folks, I show you this video too. Watch this video here. In this video is Anas, Arame Anas, the Sheikh Altani, and Ahmed Swali in this video. What are they doing? Watch Anas here, the picture of this evil and trapper in this video too watch watch him and do the you know do your contrast to ascertain the real identity because the essence of what we are doing here is to expose and expose him to the world and to whoever have become victims of this evil enterprise watch this
Something made me busy, I couldn't uh, make it yesterday, so I postponed it for... So, what is that? Start from other uh, coast about 150 kilometers uh, from uh, Abidjan. Uh, the guy is at the reception. Yes. So that means you look at him before I think. Uh, but you can say you can. Okay, you can bring him. Yeah, then I'll bring him. Then I'll but you only saw this before. Yeah, okay. But all what he talked is what is uh, normal. He is uh, speaking with confidence. He, he interviewed two subjects in quarters. I open a subject and I need to open what the event is. The event is controlling too much. That's why when I said for him, I'm worried about the investment in there is an influence called the event. I will post. What about it? Because if we are going to put an investment that is not secure, we'd rather... Now, the genesis of Anas, Arame Anas and Chadu disputed lands. I am going to play you this audio recording of how Anas got involved in Chado lands and when he was questing of his involvement in land matters in Chado. This is the conversation that transpired between myself and Anas Arame Anas. Today, I give you a bite of this conversation and how he answered the question. Take a listen to an ass. Yeah. How are you doing, bro? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Uh, I sent you a message. I guess you got it right. You got it there. Yes. Okay. Your voice is quite down. Why? It's not down. I'm just relaxing. I've had a long day. I see. Okay. Anyway, um, there is this issue that has, you know, just dropped on my table and that has to do with uh, some a particular land within the Labadi enclave and a group of people have gone there to, as it were, develop the land and apparently were, were uh, if you like, brutalized or were harassed by the police then subsequently they have to go back then a military police led by one salifu uh went there with his guys to arrest those individuals per all the checks we've done uh, it reveals that those men were coming from your outfit suppose that yes you which men the military men well the, the military men the military men from uh, from from the source that we have tells that yes okay. they, they were they were coming from they are coming okay, from the military let me do this with you let me do this with you first of everything i discuss with you is off record Talk i'm to just me. telling you this as a brother that's all either than that i could leave you to carry any story you want to carry first of all you know i don't control the bridge you know that if i can control the military then it means that you also can control the bridge Okay, you first of all, let me ask the no, question. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me guess. It's no question. Let me tell you what the facts are. Then after that, you can make up your mind what you want to do. What I know hmm, is that there's a case in court of a land I have purchased. What I also know that is that the judgment of that case is out. It came only last week. That's all I can tell you. As for bringing military men and bringing policemen, I think that they are there for you to check. In any case, I have not been in the country. So how could I have brought military men in Sudan? But I am doing this because you have sent me a text and I feel that I can be of a lot of help by explaining what you want to know. Now, if you want to get a copy of the judgment, which is in my favor, and again, I never went to court. My lawyers went, they argued. Is it not the court of law that at the end of the day might determine on that Is that not supposed to be it? So that is what I know. As to whether somebody is saying I've brought military men, I've brought whatever that one, is it's very easy. You can check with the defense people. You can see if there is police, which unit are they coming from? 
you ask them, either you need to ask them whether I have engaged. Like I said, I have not been, so how do I engage anybody? But to the extent that you are talking about land, what I know is that there's been a judgment that came last week, which is in my favor, and it was about the litigation of my land. The fact that I'm a journalist, me, that doesn't mean that if someone is taking my land, that you sit down. The only thing I can do is to engage lawyers, to go and look at the matter on my behalf. And then on this occasion, the case has been in court for the last, I think, eight months. They've been back and forth, submitting documents and all that. And eventually, the court has ruled on it. So that's all I have to say. And I'm, I'm doing this off record, just trying to offer some explanation. Yeah. It's all because you sent the test to me. Okay. May I ask you, why do you prefer this be done off record when the matter is... is, is uh... Okay, l listen. I, what I to you is don't say that I prefer to. I'm just speaking to you as a colleague. I know. Whatever I have told you, if you want, you can put it out there. I don't mind. I'm only telling you that, look, these are the facts of the matter. I would have shown... But because you sent the text, sure. I felt that, okay, you can proffer, there are documents that we can all read and understand. If you want, I can send you a copy of it. All right, let's go, let's go by this way. Who did you buy the land from? I have told you, I have just told you that there's a document that you can read. If you want, let me send that to you. That would answer all your questions. Yeah, and as you know what? About, hold on, yeah. hold on, I'm coming. I'm just about entering a place into a meeting. If you want that document, send me your email. I'll send it to you. However, if you want to still carry the story, you are at liberty, please. You can do that. I will not begrudge you. You can find out, check whatever you want to check, and put it out there. Mm, I appreciate it. I appreciate so, but I'm sure you and I do know the rudiments of this job. That there are some All few right. questions that we need to un yeah, you know, listen, ask I have told and understand ourselves. I am not out going to this. be the one to explain what the judgment is. Is there no facts we are looking yeah, for? Yeah, and I was just, wait a minute. I do appreciate the, 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 the yeah, fact so that, yes, that there is a judgment. <laughs> Look, I, I, people are just waiting for I just don't do this in two minutes, but it's taking a lot of time. But I you and I know, you can't, you no, can't just on, do it in two on. minutes. Yes, when probably not, there are interview. some few questions this, that we need to hold ask. Hold on, it's Isn't not it? an interview, is it an interview? I am talking to you. Anas. It's not an interview. You, you, and, I, you and I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Can I can I call you back? How Please. many minutes? Yeah, um, I don't know. I can I can say I'm going into a meeting. All right. But like I said, if I don't call you, you have the liberty. You can shoot. Please. Sorry. Okay. If I don't call you back, you can shoot it. It's not a matter of shoots. We have some fundamental yes, I, questions. I, I will not. I, no, no, I'm not. It's, it's not about. Not, no, no, Anas, wait a minute. It's not about no, we shooting. It shouldn't be like this. Yes. I just tried to but, help. Anas, it shouldn't be like this. I understand you. You and I know there are some few questions we also want to understand. That if what we are hearing, <laughs> what we are told. I said there's a document. I'm not a judge. I'm a judge. But, I'm but not a first of all, first of all. First of all, first of all, first of all, where is the document coming from? No, where is the document coming from? I've told you that it's a judgment from the court of law. Good one. You do you, read, do you, you don't understand. first of all, I, I appreciate, but do you think Please, we should me, believe that you. that judgment could be possibly my, my that of... Hold on, let me text you my council's number. Anas, it's phone. not about your council. It's about you and I engaging lovely, or to engage lovely, to have this. Back, okay. eh? I don't want to be seen to have cut a call on you, but I have to go. Okay. No, no. I'm sure you're going to okay. call back or we have to rearrange for another, this another discussion. Yeah, we correct? can rearrange under something. Okay. But if it's an interview, you are not going to get me. I would rather let my lawyer speak. Mm -hmm. And I'm not afraid of anything. Like I've told you, I'm not, it's not a matter of being afraid. You, uh, no, 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 Anas. Anas, right. Anas let, let's get I'll that word out. I'll what? speak to you later. Okay. How many minutes? Later, the Hawk team spoke to one Nee Leshe of Labadi, his knowledge and concern of Anna's deep involvement in land matters in Chado. Now, you are going to listen to this audio recording, and this is also one of the prominent chief, chiefs in Labadi, in the east that they could upon, who also got a wind of all the things Anna's is out there doing in Chado. And again, for the records, may I emphasize this, and emphasis is mine. Anna's, Anas is not a girl. 
he is a northerner all the way from Bimbila. So somebody will ask the question, why Anas would be seen to be involving himself in disputed lands in Chado, in East Dadekotopo. Now, I want my listeners to listen to this audio conversation between myself and the Nileshi of Labadi as one of the prominent chiefs in Labadi, what he knows and how he explained detail how Anas got himself in the Labadi or Chado land disputed cases. Now, may I say this, that Chado is also part of the whole Labadi enclave under East Daddy Kotopo. Take a listen to him. My name is, okay, my name is Ni Bikeyemo. I represent the Leshi Kota of the Latajina area and a member of the Latajina Council. In effect, most of the settler to the trust deed out of three, La Manche and also the Mati head add up to a cast three in number and we govern the issue of the trust. We've known that that tension for a very long time in last history. How they come about the land, we don't know, but then there's a claim they've made to the courts by Joseph Rata, they had a judgment which was set aside some years ago. That judgment is still pending. My knowledge tells me that the issue about this issue this is the fact that um, the Latasha family has been given a land, 15 acres, a settlement for all the claims they made and properly signed and documented. They are therefore all to look at and peruse through. So therefore, in my view, once they were given some land in a particular area before and also given 15 acres of land, the right to own land again is actually non-existent. That's the fact that about land... Who were given 15 uh, acres? The trustees okay. who were in office for the past 10 years, for the past 8, 7 years from 2010, have been to negotiate with them and give them 15 acres, and they've taken the control of the land and using it. I think most of them have been sold out. Another group claiming adverse for that signature have also gone on rampage, claiming several lands in the area that goes beyond the area they've been given so far. In fact, as at last weekend, we had a information that they are claiming some lands that trust me have given out to people long ago. Our said that there was a judgment last week at a particular land they went to court with with one of the guys around a place called um, Safoda Enterprise or Safoda, Safoda Company, one tete. And they are now using the judgment to extend tentacles to everywhere they can see free land, hoping that the judgment will cover all those lands in question. They brought the military, they brought the police, harassing people, harassing people for no reason. As chiefs, you are concerned. Because soldiers and police officers don't make it, don't don't get to make it in land matters. Sure. But they realize the fact that there are also big wigs behind the Tart Snatcher family. We've heard about the names of Anas and Co. About some military generals in the back by I me mean, back scene, claiming lands they've not even owned before. And if for this judgment is going to go by, it will also be set aside. So we don't know exactly where they are claiming their title from. We hope and expect that. They would rather be reasonable enough. This vacuum that has been created by the judgment of the High Court saying that the trustees have no capacity to deal with the situation will not continue. Because if they own any lands there for now, when new trust is formed in the next few days, those trustees will battle them and reclaim all the lands they have given out to people. Not by the way they are going, but shall go with all the laws that are special, we shall reclaim every land there is that they have gotten from us. We are saying that. Police officers, military officers, and whoever officers you are, can live back of their lands because they are in for trouble. And when we consider the trust and the trustees, this is a go, will not go unpunished. We will therefore take measures to reclaim everything that the trust owns. And as at least, we will never rest on our hours to have these things resolved and resolved according to law. So if you are a nurse or you are like, you are like an anas in our system, can you be advised and back off because we are just talking nice now, but when it comes to the tough law, we're going to apply the sanctions as the law will require us to do at all times, anywhere, any day, any time, we're not shine. We won't relent on our efforts to reclaim our lands from whoever is behind these people. And we're saying that the world should hear today and take notice that we are still alive and we are well. The lands belong to land, and we shall take the lands for whatever reason we find ourselves 
take it from, we shall take it from them. And this is my message for now. I'm not lecture, like I said. Well, me, we have one or two questions for. In the case of the land that Anas is battling, um, what's the genesis about that land? Have you heard of? Uh, we have heard of the lands. In fact, some 50 acres was reserved for development for the La people. And that's four plots form part of the 50 acre land, which was initially controlled by one Graham. We believe Kojin Graham didn't give that land to anybody. So it's there for the trust to use. And we tend to use the, 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 those lands for purposes we intend to as a council. In the light of the case, the trust lost for which capacity they have actually lacked for the past few weeks, we intend to reclaim the land easy for the development of La. So our nurse coming to the scene there had been such of a worry to us, and we don't intend to leave the case the way it is going. Because having lands and having shedding, having to shed blood on lands you, you stay on, doesn't argue for this administration authority. And we believe that whatever it is, I should back off. In fact, there's no claim, and there's no claim that they can hold on to, either by our nurse or that attached to the family. So we just advise that you just simply back off and avoid the unnecessary tensions in the town now, as the town is actually gradually getting up to get them also to pay for whatever wrongs they are doing in the pool of law. For that matter, the trustees and the settlers so far. Who do you know probably might have sold this land to him? Um, Anas derives his title from a group called Atata Achinache. Um, it's been um, ruled by one um, Holy Kwe, and I think it's Takoko Kwe. I firstly tried to talk to her, Takoko Kwe. She's used my calls for the past two days. Holy Kwe I've not seen for the past time. So that without Takoko Kwe and Holy Kwe, whose right on the land is not even established for any reason, Anas would not be there. Therefore, I will send signals to all Lame that if we are dealing with matters, avoid bringing in strangers to come and perpetuate injustice to our people. Let us as we live according to one slogan that goes as brotherhood. So we can live in peace and harmony. The, the man you mentioned, what local standing does he have in the, ga, in the, in the la, traditional affairs? He's a nobody. Holy Kwe is a part of the family. He's a grandson of Atata Chinache who has been given the land, who are given some land, a settlement for their claims they've had all these years. And for the past year or there about, these 50 acres have been given to them. They've now sold the whole place so that he's not got any ground to stand on. He's got no locals to stand on to, even to claim any other land beyond the 50 acres. They've been given so far by the old trustees. Now, the old trustees, um, has their time expired? And when was this? Some have, got, have had their times expired. Some are still legitimately on the trust. We can name a few of them, two or three of them, whose time have not expired. But you know, once the court issues a judgment, you just abide by their judgments. But hopefully, uh, we shall go to court and start to get the proper answers to our questions. That the trustees never had any situation where, as of 2008, all of them have had their terms expired. Some of them have had their terms expired because they are nominated by the courts. I have done mine already, and they are there as trustees. So I don't see why somebody will tell me that their, trust, their trusteeship is actually expired. So court will actually be arrested to actually try to get these issues corrected. Does it look like the judge probably did not know that the trust who probably the court was dealing with, their time have expired, or those individuals do not hold any local standing as far as the traditional uh, issues are concerned? So judgment was just given in that manner? Um, we believe it's the fault of the plaintiff. My understanding is that we believe the fault of the plaintiff. We didn't go to court. We, as settlers, felt we had, there was, there was, it was time for us to change our trustees. Yeah. And we did either by convention or by rule of law, whatever it is. So in our letterhead, we signed that we've removed them and replaced them with others. The trustees felt we were wrong and they went to court in our stead. So I think their case was not presented the way a case was to be presented to a, to a law court. That's why the judgment was said it came out that way. Um, we believe that some of us who have actually renominated our people to the trust should rather have been compensated or have been discussed with about how we intend to have the, the way forward in the matter than the lawyer taking steps to go to court. So I believe when the court is properly reconstituted or the court is started properly, we can easily understand these things properly for them to realign their minds to the fact that not all trustees have their times or stays on the trust expired.
The last one is, um, I'm sure your attention has been brought to military men from the headquarters, came there, brutalized people, police officials, and all of this, we are told behind the scenes that uh, Anas has been using uh, the military high command to also deploy men on the ground. Has your attention been brought to this? Have you been able to speak to the military uh, high command? What have they told you so far? Mm. This morning, I spent my entire morning and my latter afternoon at the military hierarchy. In fact, at nine, we were there. I left there after two o'clock. In fact, where the guys were arrested from, the military police, nothing concrete came out to explain to us exactly what stance they took in arresting the guys. What they said was that we were on, the boys they arrested were on their developing cemetery area. But the boys were about a two kilometers apart. Googling the maps to them showed that they were just mistaken. But then they still wanted to be sure, so they took us to the data logistics to go into the land whether it was part of their property or not. I personally led the delegation there. After about two hours' wait, we had to go to the land, and they said it wasn't their land. So, in fact, they had either arrested and molested people illegally because I'm sure the boys were beaten, stripped naked, and lying on the floor and arrested them until about 10 p.m. last night. This morning, again, we heard about other arrests to the police, um, um, regional police officers, and, and I was called and actually had to go and explain. And all these things, what they are saying, what the military is saying that they wouldn't like to bring issues about ANAS or CO and CO having been behind the arrest. But then, facts on the ground show that somebody will definitely behind, be behind the arrest and the tensions of these people in the arrest today. One guy was arrested to the Center Police Union today mentioned a nurse in particular having come there to disrupt their work and to molest them. And if eventually, they also uh, uh, may have him arrested. We know a nurse behind the scenes. He's seen, he's known. Whatever mask he puts on his face can be a mask because people know him. So I believe if he's a wise man, he just restrain himself from doing these things now, then we going out and having his cover blown off. So, a nurse, I'm assuming about that, I advise you that whatever you're doing on the site, I'm sure if you have been misled, come for us to sit down and you have documents to prove the fact that whatever you have been given so far is just a sham. If you don't, one day somebody will just pull off your mask and people will just know you properly. For the fact of those obviously, who have been hurt by your good investigations, I don't think you end this way. Rather, stay afloat, the terminus of Ghana, and make sure that whatever reputation you build for yourself will stay intact until we all die one day. Who are we speaking to? My name is Ni BKMO the election quarter manche and a member of the La Treasure Council and says La to La Trust. Thank you very much, Ni. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. God bless. Now, I want listeners to also listen to a Roman Catholic sister who also narrated her ordeal of how Anas, Aramio Anas, destroyed their fence wall all in attempt to possess their land illegally this is heartbreaking and disheartening so if anas tell you or write a response to his critics denying any form of land grabbing or some sort and claims to be doing this on humanitarian grounds this is where the hawk team will tell anas and his surrogates and co host as bunch of crooks, liars, and for no want of better description that we can say, this is somebody who wants to always countenance on the weakness of the situation. Take a listen to this Roman sister and how they felt being threatened by Anna's presence in that particular enclave. Listen to the Roman sister. Yeah, you me. Yes, um, he's gonna help yeah. you. So, what's your name, madam? My name is Sister Therese Marie from the congregation of Saint Therese of Child Jesus. Uh, we are Maronite Lebanese, we are uh, Catholic, Roman Catholic. Uh, we buy the land from uh, 2013. 2016, you bought the land. 13. 13, 13 okay. 13 in right. June. But, uh, but uh, 
we can't uh, we can't start the school but uh, we do it the fence we do it uh, everything we uh, we wait to to start this year we want to start but i travel to lebanon when i come back uh, at uh, june 24th of june <coughs> we uh, we come to see the land we see everything is broken, all the fence. Did you broken. have a structure on the land? Have you built something on the land? Uh, not yet, not yet. But we have the... A wall. The wall, the fence. The fence all the wall. fence with the gate, two gates and... Uh, and when you came, the fence wall, you know, has been broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything, everything, everything. But uh, we ask... Nobody answer. Uh, but uh, when I speak with somebody, say they come uh, with me here. When they speak with uh, the neighbor, uh, they know as is Anas. Anas, Ameria, Anas. Is that what you were told? Yes. Yes. But uh, when they know as is Anas, they stop. They. Uh, they. Uh, they want to, to help me, but when they know it's, sorry, it's Anas, they go, they don't come oh, back. Okay, who are these people? Those who want to help you to, as it were, identify who broke it? I have plenty of people, plenty of people, plenty of people. Uh, but, uh, uh, but nobody come back, nobody help me, nobody. After uh, some time, I, uh, I think to, to put one lawyer. I, I put one lawyer. Did you report it to the police? Yes. What I go the, the first uh, lawyer. Uh, she tell me go to the police in... Uh, in uh, where? In Cantonment. Headquarters. Headquarters. La La Cantonment first, and first. Cantonment. Cantonment after the headquarters. And they, the, when the police come here, they uh, see everything. They, did, uh, they didn't come back. The police didn't come back? No, 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 no. Nobody come back. Nobody come back. Did you tell the police that I it was I Anas it. who no, did no. the demolition? Me? I don't uh, uh, tell them nothing. But uh, when they know as is Anas, they didn't come back. They didn't come back. And after this, I uh, I uh, search. I want one uh, big uh, lawyer. We find uh, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, he tell me about Mr. Robert. I uh, we speak with him. In the same day, we speak with him at one o'clock. At five o'clock, he he do it all the paper, everything, and we uh, sign and we uh, we start. After the. Uh, we have a cutter, we have one, uh, a, um, we do it one, two times in the, with the cutter, yeah. and um, the first time the church, he, he didn't come in, but the next time he, uh, and we put the news in the daily graphic, Tuesday, last Tuesday. Hmm? I see, how and many? Now, mm -hmm. now uh, maybe the lawyer, he speak with the owner land Saturday, but he didn't uh, he's, uh, have uh, one result. But uh, I know uh, Wednesday the minister of uh, finance come to the lawyer, uh, honor lawyer, he tell him to want, uh, you want to give the, the land. Because they sisters, they want to, uh, they Roman Catholic, they want to do with the school for us, for our children. Oh, so the land is purposely for uh, school. You want and to build a school. Congregation, yes, yes. I see. Yes. So does Anas know that you purchase the land for this purpose? I don't know, uh, Anas. How many acres of land are we talking about? Uh, two, uh, two acres. Two acres, and. Is he claiming the land to be that yes, of his? Yes, yes. Do you think he has the papers? Eh, yeah, the, the papers, is, uh, it's, uh, it's true, everything is true. Your papers are genuine? Yeah. So where is he, 
where then he comes in to claim that he also have a paper that suggests that yes he has entry to the land sorry the question i'm asking is that yeah coming we, 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 we don't know anything about whether he has a paper or he doesn't has a paper the problem we have we have with anas is that when sister went to the people the family of the, the owner of the land to see them he told sister that they should meet in court who said they should meet in court and has told him that he they should yeah he, she didn't uh, she didn't come to the court but he uh, she uh, the lawyer have to meet him in court and we did not follow the matter again so always we came to the land we see people are trying like they are burning they are so and later sister went back and find another lawyer that's the lawyer that now we have and then now um who put the the the, the uh, everything in the graphic uh, yeah graphic. she's saying something in graphic what is it what is it so the graphic the only thing the lawyer told the uh, came to sister and told sister that we have to publish an ass in newspaper because they don't know where they can find him and serve him that is that that's the that's the reason why we went to the newspaper and public. and she was also mentioning the minister of finance do you know the connection to the minister no, no, of finance no, 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 no we don't know anything about that we don't know any connection about that no no no, no. i see and why after the anas came in to demolish the land is anas putting something a structure on the land itself yeah because people are People are there now. Even people are there. There's some yeah, people there, right? They are there, there now. working now. Yeah, working on the land now. On her land. Yes. 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 No. 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 You can. Uh, you can go and see. So Anas is claiming that that is his land. I don't know. We, I don't. We know. actually we don't know. But the only person that we know, we have a lot of witness there. They told us it's Anas, but everybody is afraid to tell us that to go ahead and tell us some some of them normally came and tell us and us but some are free but away. when they demolished her wall did you find out that who actually came here came there me, to demolish me, i ask but uh, nobody tell me and the police too haven't done any investigations to bring you a result not at all no, no, no. not at all not at all because I when when they came everything. when they came I think they will know that it's an ass. So they vanish. They did not come back again. None of them. Nobody came back again. But we came there one day and meet two. There's a two boys there. The the Alanga, and one of them. One man, one woman. Yeah. They come here. They tell me, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Everything it's uh, it's uh, come back to 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 you. But they didn't do it. Nothing. And I asked her, I asked her about, no, nobody answer. So as we, as we speak, there's a construction going on? Yes, please. They are there now. They are working on the land. Now, if you go, you can't see. Go. I see. Us. Yeah, we'll go there. Now, uh, what, what is she, what, what is sister going to do? I don't uh, do nothing. Hello. Of this one. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much, sister. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank Your name again, sister... Sister Therese Marie. I see. Therese Marie. And I can see your car inscription is a Saint uh, Gabriel. Saint Charbel International School. Saint Charbel is a big, big, big uh, saint. He he do plenty miracle, but now maybe he do with the miracle and uh, the honor land he can bring us. The What's the name of your lawyer? Uh, Mr. Robert. Robert. Is he handling the issue now? Of course. Yeah. I see. Thank you very much, sister. <laughs> well, folks, as I'm about to sum up quickly to hit your news stand or your screens of all about this entrapment, evil entrapment enterprise of Mr. Abdul Malik Kwekubaku and his protege, Anas Aramiru Anas, Opera News Portal, says what? Police property fraud unit says, quote, con man, unquote, S. Anas, confirm, receive, and report of Anas Chado land issues. This is the headline news. The Ghana Police Service has confirmed 
this man in the video with the cornrow as we earlier put this video challenging anas Aremi anas and his entrapment enterprise to come out and deny of all the issues to do with lands in chado his classic intimidation his prowess his alacrity his maximum sort of using some call it land gas to be intimidating people in chado finally folks the ghana police service top police officials have confirmed that video now we again dare and challenge the tiger eye enterprise to come out again and deny this but like i said this is a challenge and we the hawk investigative team would surely tell the full story and like it is of oftentimes the adage it is only until then the frog is dead we certainly will not see the length of it now let's go into the bit of the story and read what the story says as the news as news just in now a bit of the story says a senior police official with the property fraud units of the ghana police service has confirmed to this porter the man seen in viral land tassel video is indeed anas aramea anas the senior police official also confirmed that his outfit received several complaints about alleged intimidation underline the word alleged intimidation from anas aramea anas regarding lands at chado but most complaints later refused to or are unable to pursue the matter further now this is the news captured now let me expand a bit of this portion of the of the story which says what most of complaints later refuse to or unable to pursue and i have to tell listeners and viewers this there is something about this group led by anas arame anas in kwekubako that any time they had gone to manhunt any property or land in chado for some very strange reason and i say this and i say it with a lot of emphasis here that the ghana police service who today are confirming this including the ghana armed forces must exercise a lot of caution and i'm speaking to the high command of the ghana military i am speaking to the military high command the generals our army generals to be extremely careful and exercise a lot of restraint because this is one service that commands a lot of respect and again i would say that the ghana armed forces should not and may not allow any miscreants any group of persons or person to come through the back door and use some decent officers of the military to go and intimidate people on lands within this shadow enclave i am saying this simply because as part of our investigations which of course a lot of you are going to listen to audios and many stuff we have a lot under our sleeves the kind of work anas arame anas and his group langards and other you know persons collaborated and frustrated a lot of persons and i say this there is a current minister, a deputy minister, Martin J. Kosa, the deputy minister of local government. Anybody who knows Martin J. Kosa can play, play, place a call to him. The kind of tussle that he had with Anas Areme Anas over a parcel of land in Chado leaves much to be desired. It's, it's so frightening. The current minister for fi finance, Ken Oforiata's sister, had a tussle with Anas, all in his quest to what possess somebody's land illegally. Now, I am glad to, to say or to read that today the Ghana Police Service have confirmed and indeed also assert to the fact that that property fraud or that fraud unit had indeed received several complaints of people making issues against Anas Aremi or Anas, not on any other issue except to that of what land dispute. Folks, this is the man who created 
that myth about him this is the man who walked in the corridors of power and made all institutions governments presidents and all and sundry to believe that yes he's indeed helped this system sanitize and bring this country to corruption free now ends up himself now caught up in his own words of anti-corruption drive the frankenstein monster that we have created that is about to eat all of us up but i'm sorry his time is nigh the exposition of tiger eye enterprise is nigh now folks we show this warehouse currently situated at Chado, belonging to who? Anas Army or Anas? And the question remains what is this for? I can only tell you to stay tuned for more of what is yet to come. Take a look at this warehouse, and if you care or want to, please go and do your facts finding. What is it that Anas Army or Anas? And his surrogate would want to use this warehouse for, which is currently situated at Chado. Watch this. Finally, about five years ago, it was said the Tiger Group. Finally, about five years ago, it was said to the Tiger Group that the myth about the enterprise would be demystified and the myth would surely be broken. We are on the path of exposing this quote, mystic unquote, will not be in oblivion but of a reality and folks this is our mission i am kweku anam and i tell you stay tuned for the biggest expose soon to hit your screens about this evil enterprise i will surely be back have a good day what's up world it's your boy nate pro and I'm watching Quick One on Quick One on TV. Listen, there's a difference between fiction and reality. If you want the real, if you want the truth, and if you want it raw, well, you are the right place. Quick One on TV is the place to be. You don't get better than this. Stay tuned. Feel it. Thanks for watching. For inquiries, please call 020 252 that's zero two zero two two eight three two five two. Unsubscribe and press the notification bell for more videos.